competitive sport is stressful. What's going on psychologically is absolutely key to a good performance. If I think this is hugely important, or I don't care, that's gonna impact how I perform. And it is always, always a thought first. The research that I do with athletes is helping them understand how to manage um, themselves in the face of that stress. We train them uh, using biofeedback equipment and EEG equipment. They're attached to five modalities physiologically, so respiration, heart rate and heart rate variability, electrodermal response or skin conductance, uh, peripheral body temperature and EMG and those five modalities help them understand how to manage themselves physiologically so really for the most part to calm down in a stressful situation. As we go through the training we're asking them to produce more of the good brain waves and less of worrying ruminating and less of sort of getting tired and drifting off. The tool of biofeedback and neurofeedback allow them to see that visually. We have a variety of screens that ask them to pay attention to something very specific. And as they do that, as they pay attention to something specific, then something moves on the screen. And they see it, and they actually learn how to change themselves. What's the desired outcome in the training? From a physiology standpoint, that they actually have control and they can actually activate and deactivate at will. One of the key pieces we work on is breathing at six breaths per minute. We get them to talk and think about it, and then in terms of using the biofeedback training, we actually teach them how to slow down their breathing, because as they slow down their breathing, they're telling their whole nervous system, their central nervous system, that everything's okay, and then everything works better, and then they're actually gonna be ready to go out on the field. Most athletes are pretty effective at learning how to be self-aware, understand what they're thinking and feeling, and then actually have the skills to change that to the right level. Well, you can do that in a variety of ways without using this equipment. So just the breathing, a slow yoga where you actually take time to breathe and slow down. Anyone that's in any kind of stressful situation can absolutely use these, whether that's giving a presentation or whether that's you're just trying to do your first mini triathlon. I mean, we're capable of so much more than we think. We often need help to do that. You know, a teacher, some, a skilled individual, but can we change lots of things internally? Absolutely.